Express the Boolean function in product of max term form and draw the circuit. Here the function f is given which is xy plus x bar z. We need to convert this function into product of max term and after that we have to draw the circuit. The second one is express the Boolean function in sum of min terms. Here the function is given we need to find the sum of min terms. Let me consider the first function. First function where f is equal to xy plus x bar z. We need to represent this in product of max term. Max term is nothing but the product of some terms which consists of all the variables. Here the given function is in sum of product terms. Here we can see that this is product term, this is product term, there is a sum. So sum of product term. First we will try to represent this function in product of some form. I will try to represent this in product of some form. That is here I can write this f can also be represented as f is equal to I will consider this as single term and this as different literals. I can apply distributive law here. I can write it as xy plus x bar. We know that the distributive law a plus b c can be represented as a plus b and a plus c. Here I will assume xy is nothing but a, b, c are nothing but x bar and z that is a plus b that is xy plus x bar and we have xy plus z. I will simplify this further. I can write f is equal to. So here in the first term again I can apply the distributive law. I can represent it as x bar plus x, x bar plus y. I can write it as x bar plus x, x bar plus y. Similarly here again I will apply distributive law. I can write z plus x, z plus y. That is z plus x, z plus y. Further I can simplify this as f is equal to x plus x bar is nothing but 1. So this value is 1. So here I can write x bar plus y, x bar plus y. So here this can be represented as x plus z and this can be represented as y plus z. So here or I can represent it as f is equal to x bar plus y. We have x plus z and y plus z. So this is in POS form that is product of some form but not in standard POS or it is also called product of max term. So in max term it should each sum term consists of all the variables. Here x, y is present, z variable is missing. In this sum term y variable is missing. In this sum term x variable is missing. So we need to add those variables. Then it will become standard POS or product of max term. So I can rewrite this expression as f is equal to here z term is missing. I will try to add z term as x bar plus y plus I can add z z bar because z z z bar is nothing but 0. It is same as x bar plus y. Similarly, here y is missing. I will add y as x plus z plus y y bar. Similarly, here x term is missing. I can add x x bar plus y plus z. So let me simplify this further. I can represent it as f is equal to. Again here I will apply the distributive law. This is consider it as single term. So I can represent it as x bar plus y plus z and x bar plus y z bar. That is x bar plus y plus z bar. Similarly here also I will apply distributive law. I will consider these two as a single parameter. So I can write x plus z plus y and another one is x plus z plus y bar. x plus z plus y bar. Similarly here I can represent it as I will consider y plus z as single variable. I can write it as 
y plus z plus x and another term is y plus z plus x bar. Let me simplify this further. That is f is equal to. So I can write it as x bar plus y plus z. Here we have x bar plus y plus z bar. This is x plus y plus z. X plus y plus z. This can be written as x plus y bar plus z. I will write in order x plus y plus z. This will be x plus y plus z. This can be written as x bar plus y plus z. Further, I can simplify this as f is equal to. So here we have two x bar. This is and the this is same. Here we have this term and this term are same. So I can represent instead of writing two times, I can represent it only once because we know that x dot x is always equal to x. Therefore, instead of writing two times, I will write it one time. Therefore, I can write x bar plus y plus z. Then I will represent it x y plus y plus z bar. I will write this once x plus y plus z. Then I will represent this x plus y bar plus z. So these two terms are already written. So this now we can see that each sum term consists of all the variables. So this is called standard SO standard POS or max term standard max term or product of max term. Further, this can be represented in short notation as f is equal to. So here x bar plus y plus z is nothing but four. That is, I can represent this as m four. So here because in in some term the complement will be considered as one and normal variable will be considered as zero. So this is of one zero zero is nothing but m four x bar y plus z means it is one zero one that is phi. I can represent it as phi. This will be zero 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 that is m zero m is stands for max term. Here x is zero one zero that is nothing but two. Therefore, I can write this. Function as f is equal to in increasing order. I can write it as m zero, m two, m four, m five. The another way of representation of this is zero, two, four, five. So this is in product of max term form. Let me draw the circuit now for these variables. So x bar plus y plus z. So let me take x. So here we have x bar. Here we have y, and here we have z. So the output of this is x bar plus y plus z. Second term is x bar plus y plus z bar. Take one more, or get. We have x bar here. Connect this one to here. We have plus y. Y is here, and we have z. Z is here. So the output here it is x bar plus y plus z. So here it is z bar. So this will be taken as. So this will be z bar. The next term is x plus y plus z. We have another x uh, another OR gate. The inputs are x, y, z. Or also we can connect directly here. So this will be x plus Y plus Z. Next, we have X plus Y bar plus Z. Take one more OR gate. 
that is we have x we have y pass through inverter y bar x plus y bar plus z here we have z x plus y bar plus z now all these outputs are given to and gate let me assume four input and gate so this is the four input and gate so the output of this is f so this is the circuit diagram for the given function let me consider the second function f of a b c is equal to a plus b bar c so this is in sop form that is sum of product form we need to express this in min terms so min term is the one which is nothing but a product term but which consists of all the variables here in this sop we have two product terms this is one product term and this is another product term in this product term b and c variables are missing in this product term a is missing so after adding b and c variable and a variable it will become standard sop now let me simplify this i can write f is equal to as i said here b and c variables are missing i will write i will add b and c as a i can write b plus b bar c plus c bar we know that b plus b bar is nothing but one c plus c bar is nothing but one so it is same as a similarly here we should add a i can add a as a plus a bar we have b bar c i will simplify this further f is equal to i will multiply this variable with this I can write a b plus a b bar i will write this as it is c plus c bar plus here also i will multiply this variable with these variables you can write a b bar c a b bar c plus a bar b bar c let me simplify this further f is equal to i'll multiply this with this term a b c this is a b c plus a b c bar plus this can be written as a b bar c plus a b bar c bar a b bar c bar plus here we have a b bar c plus a b bar c So further I can simplify this as here we can see that there is only one ABC term. Let me write ABC plus ABC bar. So here we have only one ABC bar. Let me write that ABC bar plus here we have AB bar C. Here also we have AB bar C. So we know that A plus A that is A plus A is equal to A. So I can write AB bar C plus AB bar C can be written only once plus here we have a b bar c bar plus we have a bar b bar c so now this is known as sum of min terms here we can see that each product term consists of all the variables so in short this can also be represented as m is equal to so in min term the variable is represented by one complement is represented by zero so here a b c means it is one 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 1 1 1 means 7 that is I can represent it as m7 so for min term small m will be used plus here a b c bar means 1 1 0 it is 6 m6 plus this can be written as 1 0 1 that is 5 m5 plus this will be 1 0 0 that is m4 plus this will be 0 0 1 that is m1 so another short notation is f is equal to we can represent it as summation m in bracket we should write these in increasing order that is 1 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so this is the sum of min term form
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग